Sky Sports News Radio. Listen live at skysports.com slash radio and via the Sky Sports apps. Good morning, how are we doing? Yeah, good, thanks. This is a competition that's it's very special to Carlisle, isn't it? Because you made it your own for a few seasons, didn't you? Yeah, to be honest, I'm, I'm not really sure what it is. I mean, it's, uh, the club have had a really good affinity with, with, with this competition. We've been to it, been to the final now, I think, six or seven occasions. I think it's the most in the in, in League One and League Two. So it's, um, it's it's obviously a competition we enjoy. It's a competition we've had quite a bit of success in, but um, it's our next game. It's, it's an opportunity for the players to showcase themselves now tonight on, on Sky Sports. So really looking forward to the game. Yeah, and comparatively close trip for you as well, isn't it? Because it's uh, it's down the M6, turn off a little bit to go to uh, to Fleetwood. Uh, a big difference from your FA Cup tie at the weekend when you were away at Boreham Wood just outside London. Are you surprised that this competition gets regionalised, but the uh, the FA Cup early rounds aren't? Um, I think that would be a good idea. I think also for the League Cup would be a very good idea. I mean, we've, we're only a, a, a small club you know, we haven't got the, the biggest resources and what have you. So obviously, we we spend an awful lot of money on travel and, and accommodation. And um, I mean, you said tonight that the, the Fleetwood game is a close game. It's it is actually, but it's still two hours. I mean, most of the games we go to are three, three and a half, four hours. So a lot of them are overnight stays, and, and and there's a lot of money spent, I suppose, wastedly really. But um, it's it's what we have to do. We have to get on with it. You know, to, as I say tonight is a, is a really good opportunity for us to uh, to get back to winning ways. We've 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 drawn our last two. And we've played well, but um, just to get that win tonight would be would be would be great to set us up for a, a really tricky time, a really tricky game rather the weekend against uh, Crawley at home. Yeah, you were on the backroom staff under Greg Abbott, the previous manager. Then you replaced him earlier on in the season. What's the difference between then and now, as far as the players are concerned? Do you think because you've had some great results, so you know you're not safe yet by any stretch of the imagination, but you're, you're well clear of the relegation zone as things stand at the moment. Um, well, I think it's just mindset. I've been totally honest. I mean, it was. Um, it seemed to be at the end with Greg. No matter what he tried, it just it, it wasn't working because, you know, it, it was just one of them situations. And I'm not really sure exactly the, the the reasons for it. It was it was really really difficult. Greg was under a huge amount of pressure, and and when he left, we all felt guilty and responsible, as I think majority of people would do in 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 terms of staff and players and. And I had to sort of harness that a little bit because I think when when Greg had went and spoke to the to the to the players, I think a couple of them felt like they'd let him down, and um, we then got that bounce reaction as, as as most sort of caretaker managers do. And luckily enough, it built a little bit of momentum, a little bit of confidence. We got four wins and a draw, and it was enough to get us the job. And before I know it, you, you're into it full time, and it's um. It's been it's been really exciting and it's been really really enjoyable. Yeah, well, good to see the Greg is back in the game as well as assistant down at uh, Notts County. It's going to be a big test for you this tonight, isn't it? Fleetwood top of League Two. How much of a difference do you think there is between Leagues One and Two these days? Um, I wouldn't say a huge gap to be honest. It's certainly not as big as what it is from, from League One to the Championship. Anyway, you know, there's we're, we're playing Fleetwood now tonight, who are riding high at the top of the table. They'll be they'll be full of confidence and, and uh, a lot of belief. But um, we've seen already this season Chesterfield get promoted and, and hold their own in their league and Rotherham do the same. So I don't think the leagues are, are massively uh, different in terms of quality. I do think there's there's an awful lot of quality in League 1 and League 2. It's just getting that consistency from the players. And, and if you can get that, you're going to be successful. So that's the that's the mentality we're trying to put into our players. And, and if we can do that, I'm sure we'll match up the table. Have you banned the uh, the W word, the Wembley word yet? Um, no, to be fair, the players have been pretty uh, realistic about everything that we've done up up to now. You know, we've just taken it a game at a time, and you do start to smell it now because you do think, well, if we win this evening, Fleetwood will be feeling the same. You know, we go into a, a, a northern section semi final, and you, then you, you have the potential for a, a two legged final, and, and, and it is very, very close. It's, it, it's actually tangible; you can feel it. You know, so the, some of our players have been there before. Quite a lot of them haven't. You know, there's there's um, there's an awful lot of youth in the team, so as I, as I said from the from the very off in this this competition, it's a real opportunity that a lot of the lower league players won't get to ever play there. So you've got to really maximise it and, and make the most of it, and, and 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 give yourself every every possible opportunity to 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 be in the right frame of mind to win a game that's going to be particularly difficult, but one that we're looking forward to. And the fact that it's on Sky gives us that little bit more um, excitement about it, you know. 
Well, I'm really looking forward to it tonight. We wish you the very best of luck. Finally, Graham, I must ask you, as a former Irish international, we were talking with Bernie Slaven just now, I mentioned to him as well about uh, Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane. He's really excited to see the two of them together running the national side. What was your impression when, uh, when you saw them taking over? Well, I didn't think there could have been any other candidate other than man, to be honest. I think, you know, the, the stage he's at in his career, his experience, the age, um, the way he is as a, as a character, his personality. I think with Trapattoni been in place, uh, he was extremely successful and done done a marvellous job for Ireland and Irish football. But I think there was a, a growing sort of um, concern, if you like, the way we were playing, the, you know, the, the style in which we, we, we took the games. It was very negative and very very defensive, you know, the fullbacks didn't really get involved and you were expecting a great deal from your top four players, the two wide players and the two top players and, and if they weren't at it because they were getting doubled up in the defensive areas, we, we weren't a goal threat really other than set pieces and I wouldn't say we were a particularly attractive team to watch. I think Marne coming in now, I think he'll he'll add that fresh impetus too. I think the whole the whole country's been gripped by, by, by the fact that Roy's got involved and, and obviously them two working together and see how that relationship works. So it'll be something that's... Um, that the, the whole country will, will take a keen, uh, keen in, interest in, and I'm sure they'll be very successful about them. Yeah, there won't be a dull moment around them at all. Graham, we wish you the very best luck tonight. Thanks for your time this morning on Sky Sports News Radio.